Hey, all right, guys, welcome to another UK Sky on FPV video. I've got a little wee question for all of you. Uh, I've just, um, obviously, the weather's awful at the minute and it's doing nothing but raining. Um, went to go out flying today and obviously couldn't go flying due to the fact of the weather. So, I've just come up with a little idea and I'm waiting for the wife to come out of the shops. She's gone into wherever it is to go and get some stuff. So, I've been sat here pondering. Um, question is to all of you lot would any of you be interested in me doing a video series on waterproofing a quadcopter and i mean like literally 100 percent waterproof so you'd be able to submerge it basically you'd be able to fly it and if it drops in a river you'd be able to get it back out and it'd be fine there wouldn't be nothing up with it um because obviously when the weather's awful you can't go out you can't go flying and it's it's quite annoying shall we say i've been dying to get out for the last week and all it's done is rain um so yeah just leave me a comment in the comment box at the underneath this video and just let me know whether or not you'd be interested in me doing a video on how to waterproof a quadcopter uh i can run, basically i'll be able to run you through waterproofing the power distribution board waterproofing the flight controller your speed controllers uh, your motors uh, your fpv system everything i'll be able to, i know of a way to waterproof everything um it will add a slight little bit more weight but you'd be able to go flying in any weather um you'd have to obviously keep a little bit of an eye on your temperatures when when it's really hot because obviously you're going to be putting a coating on stuff which in turn is then going to get things to well things will warm up slightly not by much but you'll be looking probably five maybe ten degrees they'll warm up by um, if you're flying in hot weather but if you're flying if you keep it as say because everyone's got one or two everyone's got like two drones or they're thinking of building a second one so it'd be worth having one for on the rainy days and then having one for when it's dry or you can use the rainy day one when it is dry but you've just got to obviously keep an eye on your temps um so yeah just leave me a comment in the comments box underneath and just let me know whether you think it'd be worth me doing a video series on how to waterproof one or even on how to build a waterproof one so then you can go out flying in any weather so cheers guys thanks very much don't forget hit the subscribe button hit the like button and share the video about because if it, if they get enough comments on this and a lot of people want me to do it then obviously i'll figure out some way of getting it all done and then i can upload a series in say like the next say two weeks maybe three do i'm waiting on a frame to come and uh, once that comes down i could build that as my waterproof one and then obviously you guys can follow along so cheers guys thanks very much bye